welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how to customize your WordPress theme and make it your own. We'll start off by uploading your logo. To do that, head over to Code Options and click on Logo. Then replace each bridge logo with your own. Make sure to save changes and then go ahead and check out your website. Done! Next, let's set up your favicon. A favicon is a symbol you see on top of your website's tab and should usually be your logo or the abbreviation of your brand name. To upload it, head over to Bridge Dashboard and go to General. Then scroll down and click Upload. Your favicon size should be max 32 by 32 pixel. Save changes and you're done. Next, we're going to change the social links in the top header. To do that, click on Customize on your homepage. Then go down to Widgets and click on Header top left. I don't like the Follow Us text, so I will just remove it. Open the first Code Social icon tab and insert your Instagram link and then click Done. For the second social media icon, I want to change it from Dribbble to YouTube and insert my YouTube channel link. You can apply the same principle to all the other social media icons. To change the design of your homepage, click on Edit with Elementor at the top. Now on the left hand side, you have a selection of elements you can add to your website and everything to your right is editable. For example, I want to change the title Hotter Stuff Now. All I need to do is click on the element and find the title on the left hand side. Let's say I'll change it to Resources for Actors. All of this stuff below are links to the articles which I obviously haven't written yet. So a great thing to do is to save this element as a template so I can reinstate it once I have written my own content. To do that, I right click the middle button with the dots and select Save to Template. I choose a name for my template and save it. Now, if I want to insert it later down the line, I simply scroll down and click on the folder icon and then choose the template I want to insert. It's really important to define your site identity because it will allow you to be found by search engines like Google. To do it, head to Customize and choose Site Identity. The site title should be your brand name. The tagline explains what your website or business is all about. You can set them up here and click Save. Lastly, I'll show you how to set up a new page. In your WordPress dashboard, head over to Pages and click Add New. You can choose the title of your page next and click on Save Draft. Then go to Edit with Elementor. Scroll down and click on the plus. Choose one or more rows. Now drag over an element that you want, for example a title. Next, I'll go to Video Element and drag it underneath. As I want to add my showreel, I grab the link from my Vimeo account and paste it into the link field. You can add as many new elements as you want, so just play around with it. Worst case, you can always delete it. This is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this short video series. But if you'd like to learn more, I recommend you go over to London College of Style and sign up to the social media and blogging course that I'm the tutor of. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I see you there if you do. Um, in that course, I teach you how to do your branding properly. And that is so crucial to your success. It's the only way you're going to stand out from millions and millions of websites out there. And I also teach you step by step how to grow your social media. So yeah, hopefully see you there. Bye guys.